Yay! Love Samantha Fox. Me too. The snow grows white on the mountain tonight. Not a footprint to be seen. A kingdom of isolation. And it looks like I'm the queen. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried I find that quite interesting, that difference between the be, between the first part of the verse and then as she's going into this like slightly louder part that she's getting this seven knows I try because before she didn't really hit those last notes obviously this is like a just taken from a single performance right oh do you like I love Samantha Vox isn't she a fantastic I singer? love her I, I think she is great I think I saw her as Elsa in London yeah so did I oh it's it's like I I always say she she brought the house down it was uh, I mean it's, it's like I was ugly crying all over my face when I saw oh her oh my life. goodness me I I like I love that like that performance was just so fantastic and I was uh, just the way that it builds but we're gonna see that now have let's have a look at Sabrina Weckerlin um because she is currently playing she's about to finish right playing Elsa she's finishing her uh, run in Hamburg right? exactly she's finishing her run so I think this is really interesting to hear what the difference has been between the you know Samantha who who was playing you know she originated it in London didn't right. she right and she then did. Sabrina who also originated it in Germany let's have a listen to her first verse der Schnee glänzt weiß auf den Bergen heute, keine Spuren sind zu sehen. Ein einsames Königreich prallt und ich bin die Königin. Der Wind, der heult so do you really hear any difference though between the two of them like i think she is much more breath infused mm -hmm. in the sound she's like going all this way with this, I think Samantha Barks is less breath infused, I find. And, uh -huh. and also, I think she starts with a lower larynx setup, Sabrina. She starts with a, a little bit lower. Samantha is more um, higher. If, yeah, if, we, if we hear that, I suppose even we hear that with the. the snow grows white on the mountain. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. And then we've got. And we're listening to her where she starts. Yeah, we got the Schneeglanz Weiss and the Schneeglanz Weiss. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. that's so that's so interesting as well with that with that larynx position because uh, as I talk about a lot on my channel is that larynx position has a lot to do with the timbre of the sound, yeah. um, mm -hmm. and when we have that lowered larynx position, we're getting that darker timbre sound, and the mm -hmm. higher larynx position will then bring on more of a brighter sound. Let's have a look at this pre-chorus and let's go into the chorus. Why not? Yes. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. It's much more contemporary, isn't it? Like it's a right. lot more the, the vocal yeah, forms are really like, together. Yeah, yeah. Very poppy. Don't let them in, don't let them see. Yes. Be the good girl you always have to be. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Ah. 
Oh, I love her. She's so good. <laughs> and I love the little constriction that we, she doesn't bother. I love that. <laughs> I, it's so fantastic. I love the way that she goes when she goes. But but you do hear quite a, like, quite a strong difference between that chest and the head voice. When you go, yes. uh, um, oh, my God, I sung this song so many times. <laughs> when I like, it's like think of the songs that we, you know, I think I've sung this like maybe four times a weekend for like the last ten years. But we've got, um, especially when she goes, I don't care what yeah. they're going to say. That she's got this lovely, this this quite thin vocal form. But there were just a couple of positions where it sort of almost went into a bit of a falsetto. But again, still very poppy i would right. say it i always love that she's you know how 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 and we in germany would still drive a stick mm -hmm. i always say the aes with samantha bars is as if she lets the kupplung come mm -hmm. in and it, it's always when she uses that aes that marries these two voices together mm -hmm. and i think she does that so so virtuously i i think it's really really nice how she does it mm -hmm. and it gives her that quality because when you listen to edina menzel she it goes thicker way thicker from the vocal fold mass and she gives it such a little cheekiness i think i prefer i have to say i don't often say like whether i prefer something but i have to admit i prefer the slow build in this song yeah. i think it really lends mm -hmm. itself to the to the kind of vulnerability of Elsa because I think we sort of hear it we think like oh my god she's like really angry but actually it's a realization that she's coming yeah. to throughout the song and I love that this this that kind of yeah tartness that we're yeah. <laughs> yes. okay. I also love how this song is built because mm -hmm. it, it, at first she comes and she just describes what's happening around her the snow glows white not a footprint to be seen kingdom of isolation it looks like coming back to me and these realizations she wouldn't go on full belt immediately and screaming on the mountain if she mm -hmm. was secure and that first time where she just says let it go it's like dipping their her little toe into the pool instead of just doing a, 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 a we say in german an ash bombe into the tide so <laughs> i don't you'd know say the same thing though like a bomb you'd say like yeah. doing a bomb like you okay, even like, doing, like lifting your knees up and doing like a full bar no i totally agree yeah. let's see what sabrina's gonna do with that with that chorus when she's leading into it Oh, we'll go forward a little bit. She hits those low notes much better with that lower layer. That was very different. Yes, totally. Very oh. different. Now, I, I mean, I, I often say that I, you, we, there is a moment in time, obviously, this is one performance that we're taking a look at. Right. But I have, I mean, most of the time these singers sing it exactly the same way because it's so in, they have to do the show like eight times a week. Um, so you, you don't really change things up all that much, no matter where you're performing, because it's like muscle memory and why would you? Right. But um, when she went, uh, uh, I kind of, uh, uh, is that is that it? Um, as is tight. Uh, da, 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 yeah, that's right. Because it's here I stand yes. in the light yes. of day. That she went into a really thin vocal cord. I would have liked to have seen, as you were saying as well, with this in our in our podcast talk that we had, talking about this idea that that Germans really need to work on the AES like because oh. we need to work on that AES in order to to work through from 
that chest voice sound into the head voice sound and even to to more of that pop mix sound which is what we're looking for here yeah. mm -hmm. um i find pop mix is always like such a sort of a vague term but i think yeah. we know what we're talking yeah. about yeah. when we're talking about good pop singing right when yeah when we're talking about good pop singing and what Samantha Barks was doing as well, it's a very contemporary musical theater needed sound mm -hmm. at the moment, actually. Yes. It, it, I think it's also very interesting how um, w w when Sabrina Weckerlin sings in German, she always just has this schwa loud. Uh, mm -hmm. um, she always has this, I feel that she's singing uh all the time. Mm -hmm. It's 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 very she also doesn't say nicht. She says nicht. And ah. that's it's very interesting because she modifies her vowels a lot. Also when she starts the Schnee glanced weiß auf den Bergen heute Nacht. She does the Schnee glanced weiß auf den Bergen heute Nacht. She goes always into that kind of um I wouldn't call it a cheat, but it's easier on the ears because it doesn't have so many changes from the tongue position. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. It's a little bit more classical, you could say, in the setup, yeah. isn't it? Very, very much. You do notice as well that the mouth is very much up and down. It's yes. very, you do see quite clearly in that recording that her tongue is quite flat in the mouth. Yeah. Um, although she does have it nice and far forward, it does seem to be quite flat. Let's see what um, what Samantha does with this second verse. I love this song. It just like gives me chills. Me too. It's funny how some distance makes everything seem small and the fears that once controlled me can't get to me at all it's time to see what i can do to test the limits and break through no right no wrong no rules Every time I watch her sing, it's just like a masterclass. And I have to say to everybody who's listening and watching, she sang exactly like this in the live performance. This yes. is like, it was this spotless. Like, and this is what we're talking about when we say like, practice, 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 practice. Yes. Because like, this is like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of hours that she spent rehearsing. Yes. And I love it that you said earlier, Julian, that you said that, you know, it sounded like because we are going into a belt sound now that it yeah. sounded really like clean. I can't quite, what, sounds, how did you? I always say it sounds so schlank, you know, yeah. that's always what I say. It sounds so slim and contained. It's like, I would say it's like, a, a, you know, when you have a praline mm -hmm. and you have the most calories in the smallest amount. So this is how she sings in the second thing. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> I love it because I think it's I think it's so true that we're talking about this idea of like keeping it really really th like thin and nice and streamlined because mm. often singers get this misconstrued with belt and they go for volume and they think it's yeah. all about like out yeah. there but yeah. really this like really controlled pop or even musical theater belt that is like this contemporary musical theater belt just to be sure is very much a a thicker vocal fold sound, but it's not like acoustically, mm -hmm. if we're standing in the room, it's not horrifically loud, but on a microphone, it sounds much louder. Yeah. And um, I, I love that, that you're saying that it's like the praline, that it's, it's yeah, I think fantastic. I love that analogy. I'm yeah. gonna steal it and use it tomorrow. That's I, good, I, you may do this. <laughs> Again, the tongue's very flat, you can see that, right?
can see the tongue coming back there. Very different. I mean, apart from the fact that the instrumentation is very different for this I song. I mean, it's, it's so funny that you put up this instrumentation because it sounds so German because of the woof da woof da woof da that goes <laughs> In the, in the wind section. <laughs> but I have to admit, I didn't, I struggled to find, as with a lot of German stuff, I really struggled to find a recording that was not pre-recorded. She goes for that darker um, sound and it doesn't sound that, um, how do you, how would you call it? It doesn't sound so condensed yeah. when she sings it, I find, yeah. Now I find that you can really hear that when a Sturm bricht auf, there's that yeah. very ah, the tongue is flat in the mouth, and you can really hear and she pulls the tip of the tongue back, and it's just almost a little bit imperceptible. Like, I mean, obviously we know that she's singing ich, but you don't yeah. necessarily need to go back with that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can really clearly see that that tongue tip is coming back. Now that's, yeah. as we know, it's called a compressed tongue. But I still like to teach the compressed tongue where it's not, it's just, it's not necessarily like, it was really flipping up at the top. Right. Whereas I like to say to people to sort of, to, to bring it in a little bit like, Absolutely. yeah, exactly. Yeah. The compressed tongue from yeah. the, so from Estel, but I, I sort of almost, I almost like to do it like that because I like to keep the tip of the tongue forward and to bring yeah. the whole, so like bunch up the mid part of the tongue rather than to flip the tip of the tongue That's upwards. That's good. That's, I, I might, um, question you on that later a little bit because that sounds interesting you can see each other. this is just a perfect state you can see there she's in the middle of it right. yes. she was just doing it in the middle there there and yeah. pulling the tongue back yeah? yeah so you can really clearly see the yeah, yeah. I almost, I mean, I think she's a fantastic singer. I would say that she's definitely a good stylistic reference for what we were talking about in our podcast interview. We were talking about the difference between German yes. and, and British singers. That this is a, and this is why I obviously chose these two versions because yes. she's probably what I would say a lot of people are looking for in, yes. here in Germany, that they mm -hmm. want what I would consider more of a yell belt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whereas Samantha Box, in my opinion, is more of a contemporary musical theater belt um, or even more slightly, I wouldn't call it that poppy because actually she's about to open up in this last part of the song. But this is definitely sort of this color, the slightly darker belting sound yeah. is very, very much um, loved yeah. here in Germany, would and you say? Also, what I always find we Germans, because of our acting background, we love to breath infuse everything. So in the second verse, when Samantha Barks goes to in a more speech quality and more secure sound where the vocal folds close in a thick fold, mm -hmm. Sabrina is still in a, in a, es ist schon eigenartig. She's still in that kind of, um, breathiness like in the first one while yeah. Samantha is already a little bit more mutig a little bit mm -hmm. more fierce in that yeah. yeah no I totally agree I think that the and I think that sometimes when you stay in that that breathy voice quality it really hinders your ability to get into a good vocal foreclosure when you're coming into yeah. the belt um, and that we want to we want to try and again like you were saying about the AES, we want to be using that AES and using that that closure and that that squeezing of the top of the larynx in order to get so that it doesn't sound like two voices all of a sudden when we go into this belt. And that's what you heard with Sabrina where she went uh, up to those high notes and she, she kind of like made them breathy and then went into this full belt kind yes. of went, uh, and opened the mouth. And yeah, we're saying about that yell belt. <laughs> It's that what I sometimes, I call it, and I hope I don't offend anyone by saying this, the Tourette belt. Because <laughs> the Germans like to do this. It's like we're going da 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 hits me like a brick you know, so, yeah. exactly. and it's like, why, i know why? that he is blind 
mind. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. That that that. I think it's a B. Yeah, exactly. Where she's just like, oh gosh, yeah. No, I totally agree. I think it's. I love the idea of like mixing these things. That it's sort of like this belt. Like you don't. You can't tell if it's belt or if it's like it, this. Yeah. And, and I don't think it matters. It's just about having a lovely, like louder sound. I think. Exactly. Exactly. Let's see what Samantha's up to in this third verse. My power flurries through the air into the ground. My soul is spiraling in frozen fractals all around. In one thought, crystal. Okay, before we go into that, I think there was a huge difference. It was very, very much like very forward. You could see great tension going on in that tongue there. Yes. Even I think we're really going to see this difference in this mouth shape. Yes, yes, totally. And I think that this is one of the biggest differences that I noticed definite, like between yes. a lot of, even if it's not German and English. Yes. Um, and it's it, even just looking at the mouth shapes because yes. we saw, we're going to see as well with Wilhelmine Verkaik that she, that she, even with the different languages, doesn't yeah. necessarily change her mouth position so much. Right. Um, but let's have a look what Sabrina, so how did you feel about that one from Samantha? Oh, I, I, I just love it. And I love how she, adds a little bit of thyroid tilt mm -hmm. so she still doesn't give us the full belt experience and she still keeps it a little bit mm, in that sound and and with the aes i i think it's very it sounds safe i i'm yeah. not afraid that she might not hit a note or something because she just has it all aes up in that nice little package and it just works so well and yeah, yeah. No, I totally agree. And I think that for people who don't know what AES is, we're referring to this idea of the, of the, basically what I like to call the, the, the squeeze at the top of the larynx that's happening, mm -hmm. that we're getting this, um, it's basically what is like enlarged in my accent, all good. Um, that is like a lot in my accent is this, this part of the sound that we're making the top of the larynx. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that part that you narrow. Yes. Exactly. So you're narrowing the top. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm so jealous of your, of your, I can, I can, I will gift you one. When is your birthday? No, you do not have to gift me one. Yes, really. I'll gift you one of those. No. It's very easy. <laughs> yes. You tell me when your birthday is later after the <laughs> podcast recording. <laughs> but I think that the, you know, that's what the, 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 the squeezing at the top of the larynx that we're talking about, this idea of making that sound in order to, it's, it's often taught in speech level singing as a way in order to go further up the range. And it is a way for you to flatten out your passaggio so that you'll flatten it out to go over the passaggio so that it doesn't necessarily go, uh, that we kind of like, kind of fall over it. Um, and that's something I feel, let's see how, what Sabrina's up to in this, uh, let's call it the third verse, I don't know. I don't know which one we're up to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's a fantastic singer. I just need to also say this is nothing against her or anything. This is just commentating. I was just going to say that very breathy, right? German's clapping. <laughs> Drives me nuts at musicals. Very different. So different. You just, when you hear it, you, you think that she's come to the end of her range. Like you really yeah. feel like this, uh, ripping the mouth open mm -hmm. very much in line with what we were talking about. And I'm sure she was taught that way yeah. that, you know, this idea of that big notes require a bigger mouth position, flat tongue's going to get you high. You know, that when you get higher in the range, you can create that space in the mouth. 
Yeah, it's it's um it's very interesting because I mean, I I one can see that she works a lot with the breath mm -hmm. to work it, and Samantha Barks works more with a small breath and not so much air. And this is a very German way to be taught. We always say you set the tone onto the air. And that is something that I always have to reprogram in the students who want to have musical theater. You can, because then everything sounds breath infused. Yeah. And you, you, ha you only can close the vocal folds by pushing from your uh, stomach. That's the only way then to um to 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 close them again if you uh yeah if you go up and and then opening up this this yawn feeling that's yeah. very German and I mean that's the first thing you get taught in a choir in German yeah. when you're brought up I mean what I did was tongue bark bye bye set my tongue and it goes back to my throat and it's yeah. like, oh okay that we're singing like this and this is it feels like this is a little bit happening here. Mm -hmm. um, no, I agree with you. I think that one of the things that a lot of my students kind of come to me with, they're like, oh, this is completely different to what I work on. I actually stopped recently. I was teaching my niece um, yeah. uh, singing for, we had like three singing lessons because she had singing lessons with her choir director and I, she was having singing lessons with me and she said, Zoe, but you're telling me something completely different. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, you know what, actually, I mean, you're not going to stop with choir. So like you, it was just confusing her too much with the difference of yeah. the, of the setups and everything, even right. though it's funny because we're talking about the same thing. We're talking yeah. about creating a nice vocal foreclosure, but it's just the way in which we approach it. And I actually talked with Gemma Sugru recently and I love the way that she said, we need to think about it from like that we always thought like breath vocal folds vocal like vowel and mm -hmm. i love that she said we need to tip it on its head when we're talking about musical theater and go vowel is going to then talk about the the voice it's going to determine the vocal folds and then it's going to our breath is then decided on the on the vocal fold closure and things oh. like that and i love that about samantha um that you could really clearly see those lovely short sharp high breaths mm -hmm. that she was taking on there and I, I I always say to my students, that's something I, I, I developed lately. I said, this is you and this is Amazon Prime. If you ah. order one, um, how do you say, one charger and they sent you 70, you don't know where to put it. So you just ordered one. And I always have, and the thing is like with this German way of, always breath support, put the tone onto the air. We always get the notion that a lot of air is good. And mm -hmm. then, and, 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 but it actually clogs us. Yeah. And that's what's happening often then in choirs. Sometimes I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I'm definitely like, I've said that a couple of times, but I'm definitely going to be like nicking that one that this oh. is, this is you and this is your Amazon. I love that because it's so, <laughs> it's so true though, because if you want to create a sound with, with like a greater subglottic pressure, you don't necessarily need to have tons of air in the lungs actually it's going to hinder you um right. but if you're activating through the head and the neck and the chest and everything you're going to get that pressure build up and so you're going to therefore have a thicker sound i think it's i love it this is you and this is <laughs> that's true. it's so it's, stupid <laughs> it's not, that's not stupid i think it's a no but i don't think that's stupid at all i think that's such a fantastic analogy because if you say to someone these are your vocal folds and this is your air control you know like you don't need so much air they're gonna go yeah but zoe abc i need to like my my breath needs to like it's all about the breath i think singing is so much about the breath right. and um i love that that isn't it's saying okay we're not talking about the breath we're just talking about okay how much do you need what do i need for the, right. the task at hand because not everyone understands um you know, understands the musical or the the the, the particular physiolo physiology that we're talking about. They understand from from metaphors. I love that. I always try and find metaphors. Sometimes my metaphors get a bit like wayward, but I love that one. I tell you, Disneyland. Oh, let's have a look at what Samantha's going to be doing with this end yeah. song because we're just we're about to like ride it home. You really feel she's got like something left, right? You just feel yes. like. Love that tongue. The cold never bothered me anyway. Yeah. 
<laughs> Amazing. Now, okay, uh, we we saw though that she did open her mouth rather wide. Yeah. But the tongue was really far forward and oh. still very high. Yeah. And the obviously, what we're talking yeah. exactly, and as we're talking about the tongue, it's definitely important that we say it's not. We learn the height of the tongue as like the kind of the, the, the beginning positions, but it can be movable. It's about having tension in the tongue. Um, yeah. So fantastic. So fantastic. So fant I, I loved as well how she, in the end, on the last note, how she darkens it a little bit from the vowels. She, she, she does an uh and... Mm -hmm opens it up to an ad like dad mad sad mm -hmm. and then you can feel that her pharynx wall is still doing a little tuck and and it, it comes this wonderful vibrato and it's like mm. oh take me home absolutely i totally selling agree my, selling my gay card for you <laughs> <laughs> really amazing amazing I, th I think as well i love the way that the the vibrato is really a coloring technique i yeah. i would have liked to have seen like in some of those higher notes i think at the beginning she was just like a little bit i felt like there was like again there was like this wall that she was coming up against yeah. i think if she yeah. added a little bit more tilt a little bit more of that cry yeah. she mm -hmm. could have it could have come up a little bit higher there yeah. um but again you know this is one moment in time it was yeah. still a beautiful performance right um it's so interesting also because um when the when the song made the transition from film to to the stage they took it a half a step down mm -hmm. because um and so the highest note wasn't an e flat anymore but a d and it's so interesting because i it probably sits right on her passaggio there mm -hmm. when she goes in the here so she has to decide do i already start flirting with my head voice quality or yeah. do i still stay down and she decided probably to because it of course and, and we all know these moments when as actors we're on stage and we say let's just nail it now and then yeah. you do a little more sometimes yeah but no, yeah. I totally. I didn't realize it was a different key, man. I'm, I'm obviously. I don't have perfect pitch or anything like that, so I don't. No, me neither. I'm just but... a freak. So <laughs> <laughs> you just, you. I mean, I know you're like a musical theater master, but I think that the. I didn't even know that. Oh God! But then that. I mean, that makes that. That is why. Oh, I was just going to say deceiving. I think that's the reason. Like that must be why the the those first notes are so freaking low because even in the even in the movie they're low notes. They're like really low. yeah, and yeah. they low it again. Oh, yeah. rude! It's yeah, it's right. Let's see what Sabrina's up to with this last bit of the song. Oh no! Wait, I need to go. Really see in her mouth there, it's quite nice. very yeah. different so different uh -huh. so so different in the way that they're approaching it mm. i almost felt like i said before i think i almost really felt like like you were saying that you know it's like you almost feel a bit worried that she's not going to hit it and that last note was a bit flat that yeah. you're that you mm -hmm. you and you could see that she's really trying to get the tongue high but yeah. the you even saw that, oh, 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 and she really like swallowed the tongue almost. Right. Right. Now, I, I do have to say again, this is nothing against uh, no. Sabrina. She has a wonderful career. She's a wonderful yeah. singer. She yeah. does her thing. She's booked everywhere. You know, like I'm not who the fuck am I, you know, like, but it's, it's just, it, it's an observation that someone, oh. I think a lot of singers see what she does and they go, ah, I need to open my mouth and flatten my tongue and I'm going to get that belt. 
Right. And mm-hmm. what works for one singer doesn't necessarily work for everybody yeah. else. Mm-hmm. Yes. What would you do differently if you were, because, you know, uh, obviously with, I don't hear the differences with the accent that are going on. So like oh. I, what would you say you would say to her to do differently in that last little bit there? Mm-hmm. I, I, I think she has, um, with the drop jaw, she does a lot of that, that mm-hmm. thing. And that also with the, um, that, 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 that gives her larynx not the, the chance to rise a little bit more. Yeah. That's what Samantha Barks does a lot. Mm-hmm. I mean, her larynx sits way higher. And I would um, uh, probably also with the tongue think uh, she needs uh, the higher tongue throughout. And then also um, uh, go into a little bit of more a, a feeling of, I always call it the ventilator face. When you're, it's like this, when you're in front of, like, especially when it's as, as warm as it is today, when you're in front of the ventilator, and it's like, and then these supra hyoid <laughs> muscles really can work their way so the larynx can go up. Um, because then it's, 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 I feel that she is opening more to get a darker sound yeah. that she wouldn't need on this high note, because let's be honest, that high note doesn't have to be a pretty sound. It just has to be belted and there, you know, and that's what I feel could be uh, yeah. happening. Yeah. No, I totally agree with you. <laughs> So you have a nicer version than I. So, I mean, I know, like, no disrespect to anyone. I call it a serial murderer smile. <laughs> I <laughs> it's will. Like that, it's like that yeah, Jeffrey no. Dahmer, like that. Oh, my gosh, yes. It's that, like, creepy as fuck smile. I will lose that, though, if that's okay. Of course you can. But I... <laughs> I call it so, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's particularly good for people. But I always call it the serial. It's kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like wondering what this person is going to do. Right. That creepo. But again, like I, and I, it's so, it's, I love that you said that because that's mm-hmm. like, I, it's also like a little bit of social proof for my video that I did with Cassie Levy uh, with Let It Go, because she really does this. You really yeah. see the lift in the cheeks and yeah. lift. And even when she's stopped the smile, you can still see that real lift going on through the yeah. cheekbones. And I, I'm not through, I always say bones, but the cheek muscles, right? But the, you, yeah. I love that you said that because I think that, that's something that's often overlooked with this idea of like energy and singing in the mask and all this sort of stuff, which I just dislike that, that idea of like that the sound sits here. My sound, I don't feel like it sits here, right? Like right. The, mm-hmm. this idea of this forward placement and this forward mask is, is a feeling of the ring and the resonance of the voice, which right. is different for everybody. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And as you said, keeping that tongue a little bit higher, maybe... Mm-hmm. that lift here would have maybe let the larynx come up a little bit for the pitch so that we didn't kind of go a little bit on the flat side. Right. Um, could also be, um, w- what did you think though of the vowels though at the end? The Is vowels, that... it, it means she still adjusts them. Okay. And I think when she adjusts them, she could even go more on an ah sound mm-hmm. like dad, mad, sad, because she really tries at the end to sound me. And that, that that's where she doesn't do a lot of modification, in yeah. which, which I'm a little bit surprised because she does modification beforehand. And then um, in the end, she could have done a little bit more ass sound just to get that pharynx wall and the tongue into the right position. But yeah, it's, it's, I mean, the Kälte is nun ein Teil von mir is really, I mean, that's a, a bad thing to sing. I mean, it's, it's the thing with this German. I, I always wish that when people do the German translation for a musical, that they consult voice teachers who know which vowels work on that or keep closer to what the original score has in vowel placement but well we it's, can always wish for it's it it's what i so often say that it's like <laughs> when you see the gesundheit when you see the <laughs> when you when you hear the translations of some of the songs you're just like where were they when yeah. you talk about the where the 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 strong tone is on which syllable and things like that it's like 
which planet were they on when they're planning these vowels because right. it's so hard to sing and vowels are so important and it's so often overlooked with singers that they kind of they just go into a uh sound when they go further up in the range it mm -hmm. still needs to be <laughs> the va it still needs to sound like the vowel that we're trying to sing right but it's still you know we we can we can modify it a little bit we're not modifying it to just be an uh or an oh at the end of it right. um which we know that Adina Menzel does so beautifully as well, you know, at the end and you hear every word that she's saying, but at the same yeah. time, and she's also someone who opens her mouth really wide. So I'm not saying that it's like be just because of that, that it's incorrect, but no, no, no. Yeah. often I experience singers struggling with those notes because their jaw is too wide, uh, yeah. uh, open wide. And if they close it a little bit, then mm -hmm. it can, it may help them sometimes too. Right. And I think that's a little bit like, it's not very specific because it's like may, maybe can do, but I think yeah. that's the, that's why I, I often say to try out these things. And like we yeah. talked about this idea of flexibility yeah. just all comes back to being flexible as a singer and flexible with the, with the sounds, both right. beautiful performance, both completely different. Yeah, totally. And, and it's, it's, it's very, yeah, it's, 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 it's hard to compare because they really sound like two different songs and two different yeah interpretations it's really really interesting mm -hmm. yeah but very much keeping in line with what i would i don't know if you would consider this as well a very specific musical theater sound that's quite right. loved in germany right yeah and a very that i would say that's definitely like a a, a british musical theater sound american yeah. musical theater where you hear with cassie levy is mm -hmm. much twangier yes it's much so straighter yeah. very like pinging through yeah. um yeah. And I just love that you still hear that it's Samantha Box when she's singing, but right. it just, as you said, it just sounds so slim and beautiful. It's just really mm -hmm. flowing. Um, yeah. And you, you feel like she's still got more in the tank. Yeah, right. And the thing is also what I find when we were talking about the acting is the sound that Samantha Barks does. I mean, we always have to think, Elsa lets it go for the first time, so she w doesn't want to feel like she's um, uh, she she's working real hard. Yeah. No, she's liberated, and that's this feeling that she really gives with that performance when mm -hmm. she does this slim, uh, pingy sound because mm -hmm. she, then she has this standing, and I like that very much. I mean, I, I I was so amazed when I saw. I mean, I was amazed when I saw it in London anyway because I was a little kid again. And when 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 she does this thing where she touches something and just like, and oh my god, I was like the special effects which are. Yeah, I mean, I was always like. How do this it's amazing i was like a little kid in disney world but i mean that's how that's what this multi-million dollar industry is doing mm -hmm. right with us but um yeah i think it's it's it serves the character very well in mm -hmm. that version yeah i love that as well i think that's such a nice nice sentiment to say it serves the character well because i agree with you i think it's about discovery it's about it's about her her finding throughout the song her herself her self belief, and at the end, she stands there as a as a woman. You know, mm -hmm. if I'm going from this very very shy kind of character, and we need to go on that journey with her throughout the three yeah. and a half four minute four minutes it is, yeah. um, and we need to go there slowly because if you if you blow a gasket like right at the beginning, it's like you just get like this wall of sound that comes yeah. at you. And, and it's, no, it's no sense to sing any more verses if you've blown it all in the first verse. I mean, exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah. No, I love it. Thank you so much, Julian. I'm so excited like to hear this massive difference between the the, the sort of the yeah. standard, what I would probably call the standard German belting that we were looking for, slightly darker sound, and this, uh, and this sort of more of this British um, contemporary musical theatre belt. Thank you so much for joining Thank me here today. Thank you so much for having me here. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to do more of these but let me know down in the comments if you are looking if you would like to have julian join me for more of this having a look at what's german and and what the british are up to with these because there's lots of shows that we've done th with this and there's lots of translations and everything so we can have a look but thank you so much thank you